Hi right, guys, in this video we're going to make a little camper van cake. I've baked two cakes in a small loaf tin and I've put them in the freezer for 15 minutes to firm them up a little bit. That's why they look a bit tough to cut. So I'm going to cut these down so they're a little bit smaller. Now because they're quite thick, it took me a little while to cook them so they're reasonably well done around the edges of these ones. So you can always trim the edges off your cake if you like as well. So I'm marking on my cake board the width and length of my actual cake and we'll just draw that on there and then we'll cut this out so that it fits on the bottom of our cake and I'm just going to round off the edges so they don't get any pointy bits sticking out underneath we'll put a little bit of buttercream on there which I'm just going to rest this on a cake board so I've rushed mine a little bit but you guys can take a little bit longer and just level off your cakes before adding them now mine are reasonably level but I would normally trim off that top bit anyway and I've put a bit of buttercream in the middle and I've just sandwiched the two cakes together and then I'm going to completely cover them with a layer of buttercream. If it's getting a bit difficult, put it in the fridge or the freezer for sort of 10-15 minutes to firm the buttercream up a little bit. And I've got some green fondant that's ready dyed, just to save me a little bit of time. And I've used that to ice a cake board, ready to put my cake on. And normally I'd use a little piece of foam board in the place of this modelling paste that we're using, but I didn't actually have any foam board in, which I didn't realise until I'd started doing this. So I'm going to use modelling paste because it's quite firm and I'm rolling more or less a rectangle. Keep it an even thickness and we're going to attach this to the cake board. I've just used a little bit of water, you can use buttercream if you like. And that's going to be the base to stand our camper van on. And now I'm just going to cover the whole camper van in white fondant. Now, it's really warm today, so my fondant is quite stretchy and quite soft compared to what it would normally be. So push that on just gently all the way around, trying to avoid getting too many creases in. And then I'll just use my smoothers to go around the edges a little bit. And then we'll trim off any excess at the bottom. And what we'll do is we'll start making little indentations. So I'm just using the edge of a ruler to try and get a, a straight line now all the way around my camper van, so around the sides, front and back. And then we're going to put another line almost at the very top and I'm just below that line at the front trying to dint a little bit more so that it looks more prominent at the front. Does that little line and then try and work out where halfway is across my front so I know where to divide it from my little windows. And I'm just using the modelling tool to draw in where I want the windows to go. You can spend quite a while measuring and making this accurate. I'm quite impatient as you can probably all tell and I don't spend a lot of time measuring. Okay, so windows indented. And I've got quite a large round cutter now that we're gonna try and get a curve shape on either side of the front with. Now, don't worry if it doesn't go too deep because you can go back over it with your modeling tool. And then we're gonna draw some little squarish shaped windows. Now, if you've got a square cutter that you think is about the right size, you can just use that to indent in the sides. And I've chosen to draw these in so they're not perfectly even all the way around. You can measure them again to make sure they're evenly spaced. And draw a larger one for the back window. And I'm adding a little bit of water now to the top of that modeling paste. And we're just gonna try and sit that on there. Oh, try not to drop it like I did. So you'll see my cake's just getting a little bit sticky as well. That's because I put it in the fridge for a little while before I buttercreamed and iced it. And with it being a really warm day, it's starting to form a little bit of condensation on it now. So I've got a little bit more black modelling paste that I've rolled out now that I'm going to cut four wheels out of. So I've just got a little circle cutter and then a slightly smaller cutter for the centres, which I've got a slightly cream colour fondant for. So I'm going to roll out nice and thin just put those in the middle of the black bits and then I've got a grey and a smaller cutter let's try and keep them a bit more domed in shape we're just putting a piece of cling film up the top ready for cutting those out and these are just going to go in the centre of each of our wheels and now I think to bring the tyre out a little bit further we'll use those larger two cutters that we've used again again if you just put the cling film on it just makes it a little bit more rounded on the edges like that and then we'll put that over the top of the tyre just make sure you've not got any bits that I haven't cut neatly sticking out. And as you can see, I've had to put quite a bit of corn flour down on my work surface to stop them sticking again because it's so warm. And I've started one side of the camper van so you can see. And then I'll show you on this side how we've done it. So I'm just adding a little bit of water to the side of the camper van below that line that we drew on. And I've got pale blue fondant that we're just going to stick now on there. So I've rolled it reasonably thin. And I'm going to feel through 
for that line that I drew on the camper van and I'm just going through it with my modeling tool and then I'm going to cut through that so along the front along the side and a line up the back and then trim any extra off the bottom just make sure it's all tucked underneath quite neat and I've got another circle cutter just slightly larger than my wheels that I'm indenting into the sides at the front and back now I've just dyed a deep grey for the background of my wheels again just using the cutter that I've used for making the wheel arches or the gaps for the wheels I'm just going to use that again stick those in then sticky wheels over the top again I'm just using a little bit of water on the back of the wheels but you can use an edible glue or even royal icing for doing that so I've got a little bit of white fondant that I'm going to roll out and then I'm squashing it a little bit flatter that will become the bumper at the front of our little camper van so I'm marking where it comes to on either side so I'm just bringing it just in front of the wheel and I'll take the corners off that and then just press it with your finger to round it off a little bit a bit more water on the back push that on in place at the front of your camper van just make sure it is pushed nice and firmly um, if you put too much water on it will just slip back down so now we're cutting some grey so nice and thin again pale grey two circles or three circles even one that we've cut into two semicircles the two full ones are going to go on the front save the semicircles and then I'm going to use an even paler grey and a slightly smaller circle again I've used the cling foam for cutting the smaller circles it's a bit more domed and then you'll see we're using our semicircles now to just place over the top half of each one and then I'm going to put some little dots of white in it's just going to make them look a little bit more like eyes than headlights so I've put a slightly larger dot and a tiny one in each eye there and I'm going back to my grey again and I've cut two small circles and these are going to go just above the headlights and then even smaller ones in white so smaller circles in white and then stick those in the middle of the grey ones and I haven't put the blue on the back yet so we're just going to cut a little panel of blue fondant that's going to go on the back so press that on nicely and then feel through to where it meets the other fondant at the sides and we're going to trim that up the sides and along the bottom now for the windows I'm going to just use a bit of blue food colouring but I'm going to water it down a lot so there's barely any food colouring in compared to the water and then we're just going to brush it on the windows in diagonals try not to go too far outside the window otherwise it'll show so we will neaten up the edges of those windows now so I've got a clay extrude that I'm going to use for this and I'm using a small circle one for it so you see it's just got a small hole in it I've got a pale grey again I've mixed it with lots of treks to make it nice and soft otherwise you won't be able to squeeze it out with a clay extruder very well so we're gonna squeeze out enough that it goes down the side of our van and just add a little bit of water along the edge of the blue part of the the van we're gonna stick that on there just trim it at the front you can always leave your bumper off till last if you want I realize after I did this bit that it would have been easier to put the bumper on after I'd put these grey bits on but as long as you've got them nice and neat and just tucked in at the back that's fine and then I've just got a tiny piece of it that I'm just going to put just above the bumper and we're just going to put some wheel arches on the back wheels so I probably didn't need two circles because I've realised they only have them on the back wheels not the front and we're going to stick that just slightly over the tyre at the top and now I'm changing the end of my clay extruder for a smaller little hole so that we can squeeze out a thinner piece and again we're going to just stick these now around the edges of our windows so the front they come up to meet the top of the roof and on the sides and the back we're going to go all the way around all four sides of the windows but the front ones we've only gone around three sides and then we're just going to finish off around the roof with a little bit more so taking that all the way to that top edge don't worry if you haven't got a piece that's long enough you can join it together and I forgot to press film when I was uh, adding the wing mirrors, so I do apologise. I've literally got two balls of grey, squished them down just a little bit and just pushed them using a little bit of water onto the side. I was going to put a VW logo and then last minute I decided I would just change it to a little heart. But you can put whatever symbol you want on the front of your little camper van. And of course, don't forget that we also need a bumper on the back. I did almost forget. So again, just exactly the same way we did the front one, you can do the back one. And I'm going to neaten up the board a bit because it's warm weather and my fondant is so soft I have put quite a few indents in the green on the board. So I'm using this large flower cutter to cut out some more green fondant and I'm going to cut those in half and we're going to stick these on and we're going to try and place them so they hide any dints 
and untidy bits on the board and hopefully they'll look like bits of grass. Then I've made kind of a pale peachy colour and a pale lilac for some little flowers and I've just got a little blossom cutter. Again, just cut out a few of these and dot these about on your board. And I've just got some tiny white balls of fondant that I've rolled that I'm just placing in the centre of each flower. And one last thing, just a number plate at the front. So I've got a bit of dark grey left, so I'm going to use that. Cut a little rectangle and we're going to stick that onto the front. And of course you can write whatever you want on your number plate. I couldn't think of anything very original, so I've put my name on the front. And I've just used a white food colouring and it's just diluted with a small amount of water. And then to finish it off we want to put a ribbon around the board. Just tidies it all off and then this is what it should look like when it's finished. Hopefully you found the tutorial useful. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.